Hello, Scrabble here, back with more Death's Gambit. Last time we came through the tunnel, we had a good time, we hit a dead end, we fought against the bulwark of Alduin, and did not have a good time, I'm gonna say. The bul bulwark of Alduin, uh, fun, but definitely killed me over and over again. Let me just double check the map here. Yeah, we did come through all this. I don't know why it flashes. I wish it did. Okay. Definitely at some point we're gonna get something to go down there. That's fine. And I wanna dash. Oh, we're also gonna get a double jump. Or something like that. I don't think this snail's ever going to get there. He's just so slow. I'm also hoping that we get somewhere where the game is not quite as dark. That'll be fun. Actually, I might, uh... View and sound, mute all, resolution... Other settings. Stamina, low UI, health value visible, moisture. Interesting. Speedrun timer, original main menu, diminished white flashes, auto-aiming, and performance mode. Auto-aiming is for the arrows, clearly. But I kind of like that. It's kind of cool the way that it auto aims. Sometimes annoying, but pretty cool. Oh, I'm gonna head up here. Oh, I'm gonna check out the area to the left. Ah! Oh yeah, these guys. Boy, just getting pummeled by dudes. Not, not my preference. I prefer not getting pummeled. Have you tried not dying? Uh, let's see, your bass is all daggers. Sanctuary is in short supply. I imagine there are many who seek a moment's respite. <laughs> Indeed, I have a proposition for you. Guide more of these lost souls to our little sanctuary. <laughs> And I'll prepare a worthy reward upon your return. Hmm. But these lost souls? Or just people in general? I wish I didn't have to rest in order to... Uh, level ups are available. I'll take one. I really want to increase my endurance and still my strength. Now we're going to try and head up to the left. I would like to sell some of the things I'm not using, if that's a thing we can do. Let's see here. Like, we have buy. We don't really have sell. And I don't know who the skilled artisan is, but I am sure that's a thing we're going to need. Seed of knowledge is... Oh, okay, consuming is a talent point. Yep. Kusith. Don't have to worry about it at the moment. I think Covenant Shield is better than what we got, but I'm not positive here. We have that. Don't care. I think we're using a Vados Longsword, maybe. Cinder Bow is interesting. I don't know that that stuff does enough really make anything worthwhile. Uh, you also have a talent point. These are great swords. I have a long sword. I mean, maybe I want a great sword. I don't think I do, though. Alright, I said I was gonna head out this way. Ow. Alright, so with these things, we just have to watch out, make sure that the circle has exploded. And we're not getting in there. Not too hard. I'm hoping to find a book on the bulwark. Whoa!
Bro. Eat it. Got it. Unyielding Strike is the new ability. We get a Plume Upgrade, which I think is valuable. What's this? A Vados Axe. Probably pretty good. Ooh, it's a book in the Writer's Passage. Okay. There we go. Hey, we freed a dude, and I don't know what book I got. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Bulwark! We got him! Alright. Deal 5% more damage. The Bulwark's creature of habit, molded by obedience, planted by the Ascended. His roots run deep, immovable, and everlasting. The Bulwark's lightning attacks increase the damage you take for 120 seconds. And damage taken increases every time you're hit by a lightning attack. So you probably don't want to be hit by a lightning attack, because I think what it's saying... Pick up a carrot. Pick up a golden carrot. Oh, pick carrot and then pick up carrot. I can't pick up that snail. It's on the Rider's Passage now. We can't back out, so we can only find a way forward. Sure, I'll grab a crab. Hmm. Alright, this is gonna be a bit tricky. Or not. Grab a leaf. I do want to read this. Attack while falling to hover. Use it to cover wide gaps. Got it. There you go. Ah, uh, there's a thing down there. Well, I gotta get the thing. Fragile Courage. Ooh, those are really good. Those are really good. I do want that. All right. I think let's go up first, right? All right, come on, boys. Got him. Now that those guys are brought down, we should have an easier time. I'm betting this is the second forgotten guy in. No, no, I thought the ball workbook I thought it was going to be. See here. So, a child enslaved. Gaia enslaved is the first and final defense for Cyrodon. Most have been dormant for generations, subjected to excavations and autopsies by those with resources. It was a common practice to pierce weapons and stakes into the Gaian's vitals as a preventative measure should they one day wake. So it sounds like piercing weapons are good against that boss. Oh no! Alright. Well, I still have to go down and see what's going on that way. Oh. I don't have to wait. Ta da! I'm gonna take a plume real quick. It didn't make a sound, so I consumed two. Of course I did. I got ourselves some panacea. There is a way forward, but let's check out up. All right, so that is open from the other side. No problem. Still want that second bulwark book, man. <gasps> oh, look, it's a giant snail. Hey, buddy. Ah, 
It's not often we get visitors. Come to say it's become all Alistair. I haven't a clue who you are. No. Oh look, there's snails in the background. Maybe as I pick them up, they appear. What is this place? You're not here for us, nor do you know of this spring. Most people have a stronger sense of purpose when risking their life. The blossoms nurtured by these waters cure various ailments when harvested properly. Sounds useful. May I have some? How do I get them? Ah, I can buy them. Ah, panaceas. Ah, why? Please just take me back to the menu, you know? Like... What can I craft here? Dark empowerment sigils. Oh, okay, so this is if we collect the resources, we can actually craft things. So dark empowerment sigil... I think we have one of those already. Um, here, it takes in the armor scraps. Immortalite Blade is a long sword, requires 16 strength, 25% more base damage than a regular one. If you take damage while well, it's out, the effect is removed for 35 seconds, so you lose that extra damage. Neat. Ooh, here we need leaves. A Fang of Gaia, Halberd, 60, 60 strength to equip. Sounds like we're going to get a lot of strength over this. Sky Crash creates flowers where you land that heal you. Good lord, this sounds like an absolute beast of a weapon. Great sword requires 40 strength. So this is all about strength over here, which is fantastic. Uh, attacking enemies creates motes of life, which I don't know if that heals me. Uh, crashing down consumes four motes. Oh, there we go. And reduces damage by 30%. That's all quite good. That's poetic. What are you, Dart? Tis a fate worse than death. Cursed to this form by that damnable astromancer. We are but floating eyes and a man. What cruel fate has befallen poor Alistair, a scholar, prodigy, progenitor. If compassion still beats through your dead heart, please end that suffering. I'm very much alive, but are you sure? Oh, really? Because your skin resembles <laughs> my excrement. You reek of sewage. He doesn't say in death. Repugnant, abominable face is flaccid. He's trying to get me to kill him? How rude. Alright, well I don't want to kill you because I actually want you to make the things. Oh, throwing knife recipe. Interesting. Pick up a carrot, and it's a golden carrot. Nice. I'm gonna grab that crab. We should be- oh, no level ups. Oh no, yeah, we do have one. Okay. Here, grab one of those, because we are going to need a lot of strength based on these weapons. Alright. Let's ring a dingy dingy. Mount up. Maybe the crabs are bad. As we pick them up, we seem to take a lot of damage. Is this, uh, like a refight? Heroic rematch, level 30. Yeah. I do not wish to refight you at the moment, sir. I do want to know what's going on with the rest of the areas that I can hit up. Right? Because there's a fair number of areas still that I haven't checked out that I think are available. This should be Central Sanctuary. 
There we go. Change abilities. I do want to look at this. But, I mean, I don't really use this one. What do we got? Unyielding strike is an axe move. Soul boost, I don't care. This is a spear move. Um, I guess I don't really care, you know? Alright, and I do want to know, though, but I did pick up an axe. Is it possible I want to use the axe? Uh, I guess we go this way. It's hard to know where- oh! Like, I thought I was filtering on the- on the top, but it doesn't look like I'm actually filtering- oh, okay, that's how we filter. Right, Fragile Courage seems pretty good for us. And I picked up an axe. That's a halberd. This is the axe. Requires 7, 54 damage. It's not good enough. Even though it's plus 2, the Vato's Longsword appears to be better. Alright. Sorry, game. If you want me to pick this stuff up, you're gonna have to do a little better than that. There we go. Looks like I just don't have to be next to them when they explode. I can be there before that. It's important to know. Okay. This guy doesn't come back, so that's convenient. Can't go that way. Yeah, yeah, we do one of these. We know how to fight you already. Phoenix Rider. For some reason, I thought that was going to be the Bulwark book. I am so looking forward to that Bulwark book. Uh, let's see here. The Phoenix was once a creature of legend lost between storybook pages. Its avatar is a false god, a deception, veiled by fire. Heroic only searing wound. All of the Phoenix attacks apply this effect on you. Healing effectiveness reduced by 70%. Well, that sounds bad. Okay, I can't get up. Fine. Oof. Whoa. Out. Gotcha. Let's untie you. Oh, my aching bones. Not one for salmon, these backwater wolves. Give me a moment to recover. I'm not just an old hermit, eh? Find me back at Sanctuary, and I'll show Ooh. you how to enchant your items as things. I will. Remember to equip stronger healing feathers when you find them. Oh, I wonder if that's that's either Phoenix or Bulwark up there, maybe. But I can't get there. Oh, I want it. Maybe it's no good anyway. Maybe it's no good. We don't know. It could be garbage. All right, am I somewhere new? I'm not sure. Oh, but if I go up and right, I think I can maybe get where I want to go. Ah, uh, I can't get to that book. That's, I don't think that's the book, though. Uh oh. Huh. Well, I mean, I'm coming back here, but I want to grab the book. Eventually, I imagine we're coming everywhere. I don't really know why you... Ah! Continue to have these. Heh <laughs> heh. Get 
Good thing he doesn't kick. Like a strong horse would. I would not go behind a horse in real life, but behind this horse seems great. If that guy gave me a barbaric helm, I think I might already have a barbaric helm. I don't, but the extra strength seems good. We're going to take it. Right, we're strength build, we're going strong. Let's do this. There we go. I got lucky on that one. I don't think I can make that gap. Honestly. Ah, Phoenix Rider. That's not what I'm looking for. We're looking for Bulwark. Interesting, though, that, like, we beat Owl King, and then we have Phoenix Rider, something else, something else, then Bulwark. I wonder if we're just doing that way out of order. Ah, uh, there are two hearts beaten separately, the Phoenix acting as a house while sustaining the Parasite with infinite energy. Interesting. So here we're going to go up, and we can either go up into the left, or we can, uh, I think there was another way up here. I'm going to grab you, Snail. Right, so there's definitely the up into the left here. Here we go. I would be stupid if I was to approach that any other way. There we go. Ta da! Shield break. Ow! Ah! Yes, please. Got him. Okay. Oh my gosh, I hope there's a... I hope there's a heal or something at the end of this. Oh no, I want that. It's a weapon. Magiflame Tome. Well, I won't be using it, but it is a weapon. Oh, uh, I hope I don't have to manually walk back. Oh, no. This is the Phoenix Rider. After I just went through that hallway? Yeah, see, Phoenix Rider. Uh, I'm totally going to lose a Phoenix plume here, but let's check it out. Right? We're not going to be scared about it. Soul of the Phoenix. Bam! Gotcha. Okay, now ride the Phoenix, right? Huh. Blades of the Phoenix, Phoenix down. What is this? Upgrade Master. You can now upgrade and scrap at save points. 
Well, it seems it seems like we beat Phoenix Rider on the first go, and that Phoenix Rider was Soul of the Phoenix. That is not what I was expecting to happen. All right, what do we got? Uh, double essence if you're mortal. I don't know if I'm mortal or not. I don't know how that actually works. Ability trick damage increase for 16 seconds. I think this is actually what I want. I'm gonna grab it. Uh, with the change abilities, I'm gonna. Oh, I've got that all. Okay, like I don't want that. So yeah, it seems like Bulwark is probably an enemy that we were supposed to fight later. And I know we had the 10% damage increase against, uh, against that one, but it just did not actually seem very difficult. Soul of the Phoenix, quite easy. Surprisingly simple. Sky Tomb. I love this rest idol. All right, let's take a look at what we got. So one, change abilities. I want to change the bear trap for the soul trigger. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, scrap items. So, like, I don't want these. Still have to look at the Blades of the Phoenix, but I don't think I want those either. I want you. I'll keep the Rusty Charm because... Yeah. I, that's that's a special item in the game. That's like reminds me of my past. I don't want to get rid of it. Keep those. Get rid of that. 171, 199. A crystallized plume is maybe okay. Ascent plume is maybe okay. I don't really want to scrap them. Upgrade the items. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we can use this, and... I don't understand why it says plus one on strength, because it's plus one on vitality as well. And there it says plus one vitality. I mean, is it six? Is that the general idea? Does it add some form of... some form of scaling? 68 damage doesn't seem particularly great. Rusty Charm, plus one. Plus one what? I don't understand. Plus one what? Uh, so let's see. Barbaric Helm's pretty good. Barbaric Boot's pretty good. I don't think my weapon's good. Kind of my problem here. I'd like to upgrade my hat. This takes four to upgrade. Gives me one additional point of vitality, one additional point of strength. Rather do that for two. I guess my strength's higher now, so my damage is better. I don't think these are good enough that I want to do that. Sacrifice 200 for the one plume. Seems like a lot. Uh, I am gonna do this. No, not that. Okay, so I think that's automatic. I have additional additional damage, but I can heal less. Seems fine. We're gonna do that. I think those are the most important for me in my build. All right. That being done, I think that is where we go ahead and end. We're about half an hour. We found a boss. We beat a boss. Everything is going swimmingly. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. Plus, it helps out the channel quite a bit. You can share the video. You can comment on the video. I do love talking to people in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you next time.